My name is Lim Butler. I'm from North Carolina, a small little state in the southeast part of the U.S. Oh, what did I win? <laughs> Uh, well, in 2016, I mean, the, my, my main goal was to make it into finals. Yep. Um, I've gone to nationals and made it as far as semifinals for Which competition? Um, the barista competition. Yep. Um, I've, I've made it as far as semifinals for eight, eight years. Yep. And so my goal in 2016 was to make finals, and I did. And not only did I make finals, but I won. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, part of the winning is uh, enough cover expenses to make it to Worlds. Uh, that year it was in uh, Dublin, Ireland. And you know I've never been to Europe at that point in time, so I decided to take the whole family. And I was very fortunate because the owner of uh, Counterculture Coffee, where I worked, um, he was like, well, just pocket the whole check and I'll pay for everything. And he paid for my whole family to go and, and we were able to spend two weeks in, in Ireland, one week for competition and uh, the last week of just relaxing, driving around the country. Yeah, so last year around September, uh, my business partner and I formed a company called Black and White Coffee Roasters. Yeah. And we purchased a roastery and cafe. And yeah. rebranded everything, and uh, we're coming up on a year. Well done, yeah. man. Is it uh, doing well, successful? Yes, yeah, doing really good. Uh, we, <laughs> the crazy thing was, we wanted to spend a few months really developing our roasting, because uh, it, was, it was fairly new to both of us. But when people got wind that uh, we were roasting, yeah. Two national champs, they were like, uh, hey, we want your coffee, we want your coffee. So we were like, well, we better buy some really good coffees. <laughs> and, but we've been very fortunate because we, we've known people in the industry over the last 15 years. Uh, a lot of them are importers and a lot of farmers. Uh, we've got a couple of direct trade relationships. And uh, we're doing some, uh, Panama, yeah. uh, Colombia, and Honduras. Anything in Africa? Plans for Not Africa? Yet. Yeah, plans are big for Africa. Uh, it's just Africa so far, it's really hard to get smaller quantities. So our, our goal for next year is to organize four or five uh, smaller roasters and go in on a container. Oh man, the scene here is incredible. I heard rumors of the scene. I met baristas from South Africa and they've told me about it, but you know, words are one thing, but actually being in it and submerging myself in the culture, it's been amazing. I uh, visited two cafes and twice each. Uh, I went to Father Coffee, uh, and then I went to Third Third Space. Yeah, uh, fell in love with Third Space. I love what they're doing there. I love the uh, actual atmosphere, uh, and had a really good chat with Ben over there about uh, actually bringing in Rwanda coffees to uh, the U.S. Well, I want to help baristas. Um, I think my competition series is over. Um, I, I enjoy competition, but in the U.S. it's so competitive. It takes a good year to prepare for national if you make it that far. Um, and I, you know, with three kids, a new business, I uh, just don't have the time to commit and dedicate to a competition, but I can help baristas along the way. Uh, one of my main goals for next year is to help a African national barista champion make it into finals uh, in the world. It's never been done before. Uh, and I would love to you know, commit as many resources and access to information and uh, financials to help a, a, a national African barista champion make it. Oh, in major ways, man. Um, uh, it just provided this, this avenue of travel to you know, different places, parts of the world. Uh, I was invited to China to teach. Yeah. Uh, I was invited to uh, Japan to teach. Uh, Brazil. Yeah, yeah. I've been to Ethiopia. You know, one of my when I was in the cafe, I always had this dream to make it to the birthplace of, of coffee. And you know, after I won, I was standing in the Glory Geisha Forest with coffee that grows in the wild, and I was just blown away. You know, it's just I, I'd arrived. <laughs> I can die now. <laughs> Chemex, man. I love a Chemex. Uh, in the summertime, I like to put ice in the bottom and brew right over the ice. Nice iced coffee. Uh, and of course, hot always. Yeah. Awesome. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Us. Yeah.